what's up guys so today I received the uh, the uh, gold shell mini whatever doge miner um, the one that I got on eBay that the person had reported when you put it on um, uh, hash rate mode it would like overheat and shut down but the low power or balance mode would work it won't overheat that's why he so this is it right here actually I opened it to have a look at it I, 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 I ran it really quick you know and it was wor it's working it was working fine but when I put it on hash rate more I could see that it was getting a little too hot so, so I decided to open it up and you know and I took a little whiff of smell it did smell like a little like kind of burning like so I removed this heat sink off the chips over here and I I'm going to replace this thermal this thermal stuff here see it's kind of like brittle like so I'm going to try to replace that and remove the ones that are on top of the chips there and then I'm going to put this back and see if that may fix the problem but um I mean the fans work fine you know the fans are working fine and everything but I think it just maybe insufficient thermal paste here or whatever thermal pads so I'm gonna try you know it's kinda like replace these I'm gonna I got some that I can replace it with I don't know if the person you know already replaced that but it doesn't look too good so you can still see pieces still stuck all over these chips I'm gonna clean this out I want to use some alcohol or whatever to remove it and some tools like this tool here. I want to try to remove the that's left over. But I, I can use some isopropyl alcohol. I'll use this alcohol here and uh, and I'll just use a rag, whatever, and try to clean it up. So I'm going to do that right now. So I cleaned out all of the thermal pad pieces that were stuck all over the chips and I use isopropyl alcohol to clean it out so it looks pretty clean okay so the next thing is I'm gonna just clean out remove all of this out and uh, I'm gonna have to get some uh, pads that I have I have some like um, thin ones blue ones here so I'm gonna use like the thinnest one that I can find and like put it around somehow so I gotta figure that out alright so I removed the remaining thermal pads that were all stuck in here and this is it right here it's pretty thin so it's as thin as this one over here so I'm going to use pieces of um, this, the, this pads over here. Yeah, that's that one's very thin. It's just as thin as this one. So I'm going to use the same one, the same thickness. I mean, I got thicker one, but I'm going to use the same one. I don't want to have any problems trying to close it or anything like that. So I'm just going to somehow, you know, put these here. I could cut them in half right in the middle and then put another little piece which is not the exact size or sh could I put them across no I think the best thing for me to do is cut them in the middle and I could split it in half with scissors and then maybe put some pieces out of it I'll figure it out because this way will cover four. That's the, right? We have four, four. I covered four, and I would have to cover another four. That this way has five. It won't quite cover all of them. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna apply it here and just set it on top here you know I'll just do it this way like that 
But it looks like I can cut it right in the middle. And it will be enough for like half and half. And then just cut another piece right here. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I cut up the thermal pads and I put them in like that. I think that's pretty good, not bad. So I cut these strips like that. And I had to cut little pieces for the top there to make the right length. So hopefully this will work. Hopefully it's just that. So I just gotta put it on top there, put the eight screws on, put it all together, see what happens. So there you go. The heat sink is back. Put all the eight screws back. And I'm just gonna put it back in the box and test it. All right, so I put it all back together. Now I'm just gonna hook it up. See what happens. You can see that terminal there was um, was a little burnt at one point. It it was burnt, but it still looks pretty good there. Yeah. Just gotta shove this in there. And then connect the Ethernet. If I could do this with one hand, I'll just put it against it. Well, I'll just slide this over here. Okay, that's it. So I'll leave it like this for now. And then I'm gonna just power this bad boy up. Like this. Okay. Got a red light there. Okay, got a blue light. It's blinking. Looks like it's functioning. So far. You know, it, it did start up and stuff, but it was, like I said, if I put it on hash rate mode, it would overheat. I have to check the computer to see if it's um, overheating. I feel all the air yeah, coming up the door. The fans are working. There you go, green light. Looks like it's functioning well. Blue light blinking. Green light on. Ethernet's blinking there. Now nah, I gotta check upstairs and check the computer and uh, see if it's on uh, how it runs on hash rate mode. All right, checking upstairs. It seems to still be running a little too hot to me. It's at 60. You know what? I don't even know the normal operating. Uh, temperature on this so it's right now it's at 65 Celsius that's about 150 degrees Fahrenheit to me it seems like, like it's a little too hot I think it's a little too hot doesn't I think it's too hot it's running too hot if you ask me Smells too hot. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I'm not going to leave this on overnight to confirm that it is too hot or whatever is going on, but I will run it during the day when I'm here. And, um, but I'll lower it down the from hash rate mode to another. But I'm going to let it run for a little bit and see what happens if this damn thing goes on fire. And I put my face there, you know what I mean? It's my fire extinguisher. I got a little one there. I actually have another one, a larger one. Where's my larger one over here? And I have two other ones upstairs. But um, it seems to be running. It's hashing the right amount of hashes when I check. I mean, the box is not, it seems to be ice cold, but I feel some heat there coming. Of course, it's going to come out. It smells a little funny. It smells a little funny. I don't know. I don't know if it's just like that or whatever. But for now, I'm just going to, you know, do some further testing. I'm not going to leave it overnight there running. 
without me confirming how hot this damn thing runs. I have to check such an internet, but it seems to be working. I don't, you know, I don't know the exact, uh, how hot this damn thing should be running, you know? Let, as a matter of fact, let me, let me use this heat. I mean, over here it's saying it's about 108, 113. I mean, but that's just back here. Let's check the connector. The connector is at 80 something. 78, 9, 80, about 80. Because I know these things, they burn up these connectors. But this is like 101, 105. I mean, you know, it's blowing the exhaust through here. Let me check over here. This is 60 something, of course, it's sucking the air in. But it seems to be working. At 103 seems to be working I don't know if it's working <laughs> correctly you know I have to get another one or ask someone but I don't like the way it smells though either all right guys so it's the next day and I decided to you know uh, try it again let it run and what I noticed is I, I think it's normal because that degree is normal. Right now it's running at uh, 76 uh, Celsius. That's about 168 uh, on Fahrenheit. But um, searching on the internet and all over, and I see that uh, a lot of people's mind is run about that that um, degree, and it seems to be normal. So I think it's either it's fixed. <laughs> I guess it's fixed, so I'm going to let it run for the day. You know, everything's running pretty good, as you can see there. The lights are on. Fans are working. Everything seems normal. You know, it's not like it's uh, overheating and shutting down. Um, because according to what the guy was like, uh, it was overheating. And it wouldn't work on that... Uh, hash rate mode but it is working now that I changed the um, pads it could have been the pads I don't know maybe it wasn't broken but I you know I changed the pads and it seems to be um, working perfectly that I know of. you know I, I, the hash is hashing everything is working so for about a hundred bucks I got this um, miner here and it's uh, seems to be fixed and that's it for the video guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later on the next one. Peace and I'm out. Latest.